Mobile, Alabama, a federal grand jury has accused the former president of Austell USA, a current employee, and a former executive of making calculations to make the company's signature literal ship program more profitable. The Securities and Exchange Commission simultaneously filed a federal lawsuit against three of them, arguing many of the same allegations and asking a judge to order them to surrender ill-gotten gains. Taken together, court cases are a major blow to one of region's most important employers and its signature product, Literal Combat Ship Bill for Navy. The defendants are Craig Percy of L, who was the shipbuilder's chairman until he abruptly resigned in 2021 amid investigations by multiple agencies, Joseph Runkel, the company's director of financial analysis, and William Adams, former Literal Combat Ships program director. They are charged with conspiracy, electronic and electronic affecting a financial institution. The charges include a maximum sentence of 30 years, but the actual punishment is likely to be less than under advisory sentencing guidelines. In the indictment, the defendants are charged with orchestrating a scheme to mislead Austell USA shareholders and financial institutions, from approximately 2013 to July 2016. He claims that the three of them conspired to misrepresent the profitability of each literal combat ship. Fraudulent accounting measures allegedly kept Austell's shares high. But prosecutors say that when the higher costs eventually went public, the stock price took a big hit and Austell had to write off more than $100 million. The SEC lawsuit alleges that Percy Aval, Runkel, and Adams won thousands of dollars in bonuses by exaggerating revenues and earnings. Prosecutors allege that defendants misled an independent auditor, shipbuilder's own parent company, and investors about financial performance of LCS program and company's overall financial condition. They allegedly did this by reducing the cost estimates of materials to unrealistic levels. The indictment alleged that actions managers concealed fact that cost production each ship increased by millions of dollars. The indictment alleges that the defendants had similarly increased labor costs after it became clear that the ships would require significantly more working hours. Criminal and civil lawsuits allege that defendants' ulent tricks caused Austell to make false financial statements to the SEC and public. The lawsuit references a number of news outlets. For example, the company sent out a in August 2014, Austell generates record revenue and reduces net debt by 50%. The headline of a news article published the following February was, Austell increases revenue and earnings. It goes back to dividends. The lawsuit alleges that the information contained in this and other publications is false due to committed by the defendants. The next step in the criminal case will be for Percy Aval, Runkel, and Adams to appear in court where they are expected to plead not guilty. Updated at 1857. More details on the claims. Walla.